Hi. 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 <laughs> uh, today we're making a quiche. I and hope it, that didn't happen. He's making the quiche that I, that's my signature dish. But don't tell anybody because I don't cook. So the only thing I can think of when I think of quiche is how many times my lunatic mother has been up at 4 a.m. The only three times she's been up at 4 a.m. cooking something, for some reason it was a quiche. And I got up and I asked her, what are you doing? And I told her, listen, go to bed and I'll make the quiche when I get up in the morning. And she didn't want to, so. I had to make my own quiche. It's my signature dish. So I hope you enjoy my son's version. So today we're gonna make a quiche and there's a very traditional French preparation, quiche Lorraine, and it's really carnivore in itself. The only thing that makes it not carnivore is the crust. And we're going to try to replicate that with just a nice Parmesan cheese crust. So let me show you guys the ingredients. It's the perfect carnivore recipe. You know, you have milk, eggs, cheese, and bacon. Now we don't have the ideal quality of everything. You know, of course, we would be making Iberico pork bacon like I did a couple months back. We would have raw milk from a local farm, but we do have some of the highest quality ingredients you can get. So here are some soy-free, corn-free eggs from an Amish farm. These pricks charge me $8 a dozen. Here we have Frankie Boy's favorite Parmigiano Reggiano, uh, which we're gonna use for the crust. And we have Gruyere uh, Swiss cheese that's going to compose most of the quiche. Let's go over the nutrients real quick. So dairy in general has pretty much every single vitamin and mineral your body needs with the exception of preformed omega fatty acids. Milk is more B vitamin oriented. Cream is fat soluble vitamin oriented. Cheese has a nice mix of both as well as a very high vitamin K2 content. The eggs are even more nutrient dense uh, than dairy. Uh, they're more balanced. They do have preformed omega fatty acids, but they're lacking calcium, they're lacking iron. And then we have bacon and you know it's probably high in omega-6. It's not the best choice, so maybe a decent amount of vitamin A. But you know, it does have fat calories. It does add more protein. Uh, so really the worst thing we do have here is the bacon. Measurement wise, you want around two cups of either cream or milk. And you can combine both, which is what I'm actually doing today. So we're gonna do one cup of milk, one cup of cream. That's going to be eight eggs. And I think I'm just gonna use all of this bacon and we want about one cup of cheese. But since I'm making a Parmesan cheese crust, we're gonna need a little bit of extra Parmesan. Whereas we're just gonna throw one cup of Gruyere in the mixture itself, a little bit of salt. And you know, with quiche, you can add so many different things like mushrooms, spinach, onion, it's really endless. So we got the bacon diced up in the pan. I'm gonna grate this Parmesan so we can get our crust going in the oven. I would say for the crust, you probably need about three quarters of a pound of Parmesan, depending on the size of your, your baking tin. This looks like enough. So what I'm gonna do is butter this ceramic baking tin. And we have all of this stuff on Frankie's Free Range Meat, guys. All of the cheeses, the butter. We have Iberico pork belly. I'm just not crazy enough to make bacon every week. Well, I am, but I don't really like bacon that much. And with this cheese, we're just gonna make a layer that's enough to cover the bottom of the pan so like you don't see it. And look, if you wanna get really crazy, can you try to stick this cheese to the sides? Yeah, but I'm not doing that. Now, for the sake of not wasting cheese, I'm gonna use what I grated here, but th this is plenty, so. You get your cheese in the bottom of the ceramic baking tin, and then you press it down. Now, now some quiche recipes do actually call for adding Parmesan to the mixture. So I thought, hey, why not make a Parmesan crust and just put Gruyere in the quiche? Now we're gonna pop this in the oven at 400 until it turns golden brown. This is gonna take maybe 15, 20 minutes. Just keep a good eye on it. So our bacon is caramelized. We have the Gruyere grated. I have eight eggs counted out. And all we're gonna do now is season the whole mixture by putting about a tablespoon of salt in the eggs. Depending on how you want your quiche, as I said, you can use heavy cream or whole milk or just one of them. And likewise with the eggs, you could use whole eggs or egg yolks. So you know, the more heavy cream, the more egg yolks you put in, the richer this is gonna be. But you know, with all the cheese and bacon and all that stuff, most people just use milk in the mixture with whole eggs. One cup of a very thick cream. So one cup of cream, one cup of milk. So I'll get this in the bigger bowl. In goes the cheese and the bacon. So 
the Gruyere bacon is the most classic combination. My mom likes doing, you know, ham and American cheese, which is kind of, you know, not that great quality, but whatever floats your boat. You could put the bacon grease in here, but I don't like adding bacon grease to recipes because it tends to just make the whole thing taste like bacon. Vegans are crying at home right now. This is also how you make uh, Parmesan cheese crisps if you don't want to spend all that money in the store. And as you guys can see, there's like a lot of fat that kind of separated, but this has to cool for about 20, 30 minutes before we can put the mixture in this to put it back in the oven. It's been about half an hour and this is nice and cooled off. It's really crispy too. I broke it a little bit, but uh, really crispy and crunchy. So, you know, when we go to cut this later, let's just make sure to be careful. So this mixture is gonna go in here. In the oven, we're gonna do 350 for about an hour. There we go. It's been 50 minutes and I went to check. Quiche is actually looking really, really nice and brown. So we're gonna take this out now and let it rest for about an hour. Ooh, that looks good. If you guys are missing pizza on the carnivore diet, this will hit the spot. So for some reason my mom is awake at 1.30 in the morning and for some really reason my sister's, my sister's actually sleeping at 1.30 in the morning. Usually my sister's up all night, but ridiculous. we have a different taste tester today. Look at this. Oh, it's so good. Oh, they already smell the quiche. My favorite thing to eat. This is a keepa. The classic bacon in Gruyere is always, always a go-to. He has to be right. He's right. I'm enjoying it. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please leave a comment down below, like the video, and above all, please share the video on social media. If you guys do want to support me further, you know how to do so down in the description. As I said earlier, all of this stuff is available on Frankie's Free Range Meat. Hopefully we have the farm so we can do some eggs sometime in the near future. Thanks again for joining me guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.